Railroad Crossing Procedures. Okay, Ms. Sharon, today we are going to talk about railroad crossings. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm, we're done talking about them, discussing them, I'm going to have you do one, okay? Okay. Or several. And particularly because in Centerville we don't have any railroad crossings, it makes it e really important that we learn the procedure real well. Is that in case okay. we go on a field trip or something? Exactly okay. right. Okay, so um, the railroad crossing is the most dangerous intersection you're ever going to, to cross. And uh, reason being is too many malfunctions can happen either from the lights not coming on or the cross bucks not coming down or maybe even the train not blowing their whistle at the appropriate time. Okay, so we would really want to make sure that we're going to do this the way that I'm going to teach you how. Okay. okay? All right. So when you're approximately 300 feet before the, the railroad crossing, you're going to ask for silence from your passengers. You can do that with the intercom or you can use your big bus voice. Okay. okay. Either way. Silence for railroad when you see the crossing. Okay. When you see the yellow crossing sign, you're going to put your hazard lights on. Okay. Okay. You're going to open up your window. Exactly right. And if you have any heaters or defrosters or noisemakers on, you're going to use your noise suspension button to turn all of those off at one time. So it makes it easier. You don't have to turn off every switch individually. Okay. Great. Okay. Once you have all that done, you're going to stop between 15, no closer than 15 feet to the nearest rail and no further away than 50 feet from the nearest rail. If there is a crossbar, which there usually is at most railroad crossings, you can stop at the crossbar. But if you don't see one, go no closer than 15 feet or no further away than 50 feet. So a stop bar similar to one being at a traffic signal. Correct, like the, uh, a wide white line. Painted on the roadway. Uh, okay. Exactly right. Okay. Once you arrive at the stop bar or where you're stopping, you're going to pull your parking brake. Okay. You're going to put the bus into neutral. Okay. And you're going to open your door in right. that order. Okay? okay. Just like you would at a regular pickup or drop off. Except I'm not activating Except my warning lights, just correct. my hazards. Correct, just your hazard lights. Okay. Never use your warning lights at a very good point. Never use your warning lights at a railroad crossing. Only your hazard lights. Because then I would be stopping oncoming traffic. That is correct. And ah. you don't want to stop oncoming traffic at a at train a railroad crossing. crossing. Exactly yes. right. Okay, so you're going to look in both directions once you're stopped, no less than twice. Okay. Looking and listening for train traffic. Uh, once you hear and see that it's clear, you're going to put your bus back into drive. You're going to close your door and you're going to release your parking brake again in that order. Okay. Okay. Just like you would at a pick up or drop off again, only with your hazard lights. Okay. So once you cross the track, you're going to cancel your hazard lights approximately 50 feet across the track. Looks like at the other side. Yep. Right. Make sure you have enough room to cross the tracks completely so your back of your bus is not clear of the tracks. Completely clear of the tracks. And once you're about 50 feet over the tracks, usually when I see the RR painted on the other side, the other I side will turn my hazard lights off. Okay. I will close my window if I want to uh -huh. and turn my noise suppression button back off in the off position so my heaters and defrosters can work if I need them to work. Okay? Okay. All right, now it's your turn. Thank you. We'll give us a try. Okay. Now let's take a look at how to conduct the railroad crossing at a railroad track. Let's watch as Sharon demonstrates the railroad crossing. Okay, now that we have talked about the railroad crossing, we're going to do some railroad crossing. we don't have any railroad crossing so it's very important so it's very important that we learn the railroad crossing real well okay so, in case we're ever on a field trip exactly if you're on a field trip or I see a railroad sign up ahead so I'm going to ask my students to be quiet I need quiet please we're coming to a railroad crossing I'm going to activate my hazards I'm going to open my window and I'm going to hit my noise suppressor button so I have no ex internal noise on the bus. I see that there is a 
stop bar here at this crossing. So I will stop at the stop bar where I will pull my brake, put the bus into neutral, open the door. I'm going to look and listen both ways at least twice. I hear nothing, I see nothing. So I'm going to put my bus into drive. I'm going to close my doors, release the parking brake, and go across the tracks. I'm going to look and listen as I cross, but I'm going across swiftly as I get approximately 50 feet over the tracks. I'm going to turn off my hazards. I'm going to close my window, turn my noise suppressor button back on, and continue on our way. Very good. Nicely done. Thank exactly you. right. Nicely done, Sharon. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.